Um, what? Now we now we're going down. What the? That was weird. Anyway, uh, yeah, the gravity turn. I think I've talked about that. I think I finished talking about that. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Now I'm not peeking nearly as much, because peeking is bad in this case. Sorry about that earlier. But, uh, yeah, so now we are starting to fall back to Kerbin. Um, let me turn off SAS so it'll gener just point at the uh, retrograde marker. That's what that is. When you're going forwards relative to your motion, it's prograde. When you're going uh, burning negative to the uh, motion is uh, retrograde. When you're burning straight out like this is radial, anti-radial, normal, anti-normal. So north is normal, south is anti-normal. Has nothing to do whether or not anything's normal or not. It's just a term. So let's see here. Gonna time warp up using a uh, period key. And now we should be starting to re-enter now. Let's see here. Altitude. Push. Okay. And since we were only uh, sub suborbital. That's not too bad. The uh, temperature is not too bad. That is another mod, I think I said, but it is um, deadly reentry, which is interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, basically, you'll see once we actually get into orbit and then deorbit uh, that. Yeah, let me get rid of the maneuver node. There we go. I'll explain those at a later point. Um, but anyway, the there are effects, like fire effects for re-entry. And in the stock game, those don't do anything. They're just there to look pretty. But in this, uh, but with deadly re-entry, those uh, effects actually uh, cause heat. And the heat can actually destroy things, such as mystery goo and you if you're not careful. Let's look at Jeb. This is an IVA view which is oh, let's spin and cause people to get sick. There we go. But uh, yeah that's just from the inside of the uh, there we go. Awesome. Parachute opened. But uh, yeah so let's go all the way down. But yeah the IVA Right now, they don't really do much. I mean, they let you do stuff like this and see this and ooh, fancy, fancy. But I mean, there's not really any point to using it unless you are intentionally sort of setting limits for yourself. Anyway, here we go. We're about to touch down. Whoosh. Nice. Okay, and let's roll on our back. Uh, we have... Okay, we have... A lot of electric charge, so let's roll on our back and stay there. And hit three. Get into the that guy. Hit this. EVA report. Most precarious situation, of course. Uh, store data. Store experiments. And hop off. Now we're swimming around. And we're getting a whole bunch of achievements. Which, again, is another mod, if I didn't say anything. Take surface sample, water. Dramatically increase the surface humidity of anything it touches. Hmm, I wonder why. Could it be because it's water? Probably. No, I don't want to override the uh, EVA report. I'm good. Okay, grab it. Grab, grab on. There we go. There we go. Yay. Now board, and now we can recover the vessel. And that should get us a bit of science, hopefully, because science is good. There we go, 91 science. So let's head back to R&D and unlock some more things. Now this here is a uh, probe core. Um, it allows you to send probes to places and do things. Um, so that way then you don't have to risk Kerbin Left to do it and so and then they're much more disposable than Kerbins, so to speak. Because uh, you wouldn't necessarily want to strand Jeb on the moon, but you can do that no problem with the probe core. So, yeah. 
Now there are some mods that let's see here. Let's get this because it has science on it. And then and I don't have enough for that, but uh, okay. Um, right here. And then this guy. There are some mods that actually allow or that actually change the way that antenna work um, by actually um, forcing you to create connections to back to Kerbin or back to the main uh, KSC Kerbal Space Command. Um, right now in the stock game it doesn't do that but I don't have that installed right now. It's not updated for 0.23. Uh, it's still 0.22. Let's see here. This is the achievements thing. So we've earned eight achievements at this. The Geminator Mark 1. Nice. And small step, safe and sound. Splash into the ocean. Okay, nice. And then this is FAR. This is really complicated and I'm not sure how to use it, so we're not going to mess with that unless we're building space planes, which we may do at a later point. Uh, because there is another part that was added. Uh, in point two three, which is the if I can remember what it is, it is the not lance. It's another type of sword. The because the real life equivalent is the saber engine. Basically, I, I can't remember what it's called right now, but uh, basically it is a air air breathing rocket, which then switches over to uh, oxidizer. So basically, you can have air intakes on your pl uh, on your space plane, and then once it gets up to a high enough point where the oxygen is not enough to sustain it, it switches over to an internal uh, oxidizer buffer, which is really nice. Now there was another mod uh, called B9 Aerospace that had a saber engine, but uh, it. Uh, eats a lot of memory and memory is a really big issue with GSP because it runs on unity and unity right now is only 32 bit which means you only have uh, four gigabytes of RAM to use max and really it doesn't even use that much it's like 3.6 so it's kind of not the best but you know you do what you can all right so let's see here Let's take this away and then add another science thing right there. Okay. Now add a comms dish right here. And then add mystery goo containment. Or not a mystery goo. We this guy, which we just added. Now for this, I'm going to actually need to add a heat shield, because it doesn't have one for itself. The Mark I pod uh, has its own heat shield, which is nice, but the bigger uh, pod, the Mark II pod, does not have a heat shield, which is why you start with it. The uh, Actually, no, you, on this one you don't, uh, but you get a two and a half meter heat shield instead of a one and a quarter heat shield, which is good. Let's see here. So now we have bigger things. So we can do. Let's see. Ah, uh, let's add some more fuel to this guy. Actually, let's do. This guy right here. And then add a decoupler right here. And then add some more fuel. Right now I'm doing that by scrolling at uh, scrolling down while hitting shift. Otherwise scrolling does this. Uh, now normally you'd have to hit this guy to move. Hit the uh, main control pod to move it. But if you shift click anywhere on the structure it does the same thing and it moves it uh, with your cursor. So now let's put this on here. So now we have two uh, stages. Well, two main engine stages. Let's see here. So now what we can do is actually go... Now if you hit X 
while you are using anything. If you look down here, this just changed the symmetry mode to two time, uh, two way symmetry, three way symmetry, and now four way symmetry. So what we want to do is add some uh, solid fuel boosters. Uh, not those big ones though. Let's add some smaller ones. And since we don't have any control things like uh, an SAS unit, or what used to be SAS units, now they're not SAS units. those are too big. Let's add parachutes to these guys just to make them more aerodynamic. And then add a whole buttload of batteries because we can. Okay, way I did that, if I didn't mention before, use alt and click on it and then you can place it where you want. So now we have a whole bunch of batteries. So now what I want to do is actually limit the thrust, which is a brand new thing. Because if you limit the thrust, uh, these solid fuel boosters actually last longer, which is nice. Okay, and they go across all of them. So what I want to do is actually move this guy up here with the decouplers for this guy. And then at the same time these are decoupling after they're finished, I want to fire this engine. After that's done, this will decouple, and then this engine will fire, uh, preferably putting us into full orbit. Uh, at that point we can take all sorts of measurements and then send all that stuff back actually no um, no at this point there's no real point in having all of these on here my bad so I, I'm still used to the 0.22 science spam so no need for that uh, which makes this a lot lighter uh, hopefully uh, but for now it looks like we're coming up on a half hour and a, like a minute and a half here so I'm going to Rename this the Geminator Mark II, and then I will bring us out to the launch pad, and then we will, I will say goodbye, and then see you in the next episode at that point. Let me just make sure I didn't forget anything. Oh, you know what I did? I need to, ugh. and then Shift X uh, undoes the symmetry, so I want to put right there. Ooh, that's... I don't know if those will survive, actually. Mm. Well, if not, hopefully this is good enough. So, yep. Alright, save it. And then load it. And then at that, once it's loaded up, we... Well, I should say I will do my thing. Yeah. Alrighty. Nice. Wait a minute, what? Oh, right, because these still have monoprop in them. Let me do something real quick, and then I will do my wrapping up. Because I need to do that. Okay. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty. Thanks for watching uh, me play some KSP here. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please leave me a like. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you really liked what you saw, please subscribe. It makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> if you didn't like what you saw, please leave me a comment. Let me know why not. I mean, makes you know I can't get better if I don't know why I'm screwing up. Um, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. See you later. Bye-bye.